Capricorn, welcome to your almost daily love reading. This is Chelsea, and I appreciate all of your love and support for subscribing to my channel. Also, I want to let you guys know that I'm making some changes in your readings from now onwards because I was informed that another tarot channel has stolen my audio and used it for their videos. So instead of only reading after pulling out all of the cards, I will start after each card is out. And that's going to make it much harder for them to manipulate my audio because of the shuffling. But um, at the end of your reading, um, Capricorn, I will pull out more cards for some love and money advice for you guys, alright? Other than that, as usual, please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Time is an illusion in tarot, so this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Spirits and angels, please show me important, accurate love messages for Capricorn today. Six of Swords is in the first. This is an indication of feeling really stuck. Can't quite move on yet. Mm. Still affected mentally, emotionally, in terms of uh, something that has happened to you in the past. All right. Just see. Let's see more. Spirits, please show me more. So we've got the Nine of Swords here in reverse. This could either indicate no communication right now. Or that there's no forward movement. Mm. Also, sometimes another source in reverse could mean some communication issues for some of you, okay? See more. Space, space, show me more. So we've got the magician here. I feel like for the magician, mm, Something's going to happen or somebody is planning something here. The magician is somebody who has a lot of tools, okay, or talents or skills. And um, they are manifestors, right? But they can also mani they can manifest good and bad <laughs> at the same time. But we'll see more. It looks like something's going to happen to you guys. Um, either you're going to take action towards somebody or somebody's going to take action towards you. But let's see more. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles here. I feel like a lot of you could be focusing on your work. But this could also mean that Capricorn, you are actually somebody very loyal, very reliable. Um, very grounded as well. Of course, you are an earth energy. Perhaps this is somebody how somebody sees you But this city in your past hmm. Either it's somebody you still can't forget about or Somebody still can't forget about you. Let's see more Don't worry, I'll tell you the overview um, once all the cards are out, okay? I know this is different. I just have to do this. I don't want people stealing my audios with the shuffling in between, they won't be able to quite steal it. It's going to be hard for them to edit. Please show me more Spirit Capricorn. Okay, perfect. So we've got the King of Swords here. Hmm. Somebody could have made a decision, okay, to not speak, okay, or to not communicate. But sometimes with the sword in reverse here also, it could mean somebody mm, lying. It's funny because with the King of Swords, even with the Magician and the Knight of Swords here in reverse, I feel like someone is like showing a straight face, like I didn't do anything wrong, you know, but deep down, they know they are. I'm not lying or I didn't do anything wrong, but deep down they are. They know that they are lying because the Magician can also be a manipulator, can also be deceptive. There's only the reason why I'm seeing it because of where the cards are at. Uh, usually King of Swords, it's not a bad card, it means strategy as well. This could be a strategy that somebody, somebody could be planning something, okay? Making things happen here. But let's see more. Please show me more, Spirit. Okay, I'll take this card as well. So two of wands is here. I feel like this could be an indecision or making a choice. Uh, feeling somebody could be feeling at a cross, like they're at a crossroad. But for me, again, this is a um, 
because the two ones supposed to be beneath the the magician here i feel like someone is just waiting for the right moment and just you know um how do you say just keeping an eye it's like something is coming okay someone is trying to manifest something but it's a matter of time and also two of ones maybe they could still be wondering if this is a good idea or not but they're pretty much set to making this this decision to i feel like to return okay to return and the hangman is in reverse so this is an indication of somebody feeling they are finally seeing things very clearly seeing things in a completely different perspective maybe this is also somebody coming out of uh, from inactivity or no communication you've got the three okay <laughs> so it makes it much much easier capricorn if all the cards are out so i can see the whole thing the whole picture right away but since it's one by one this time around it's interesting i actually kind of like it <laughs> different way of reading still the same message though don't worry okay so we got the three of pentacles here this is somebody wanting to manifest a reconciliation perhaps there is a plan in regards to fixing things with you okay rebuilding but we've got the knight of cups here in reverse i feel like there is some sort of a worry in regards to someone being genuine or not because the queen of pentacles is still looking towards the past something that could have hurt her or him is not gender specific in the past i feel like someone still can't quite move on from it yet okay with the nine of cups here i feel like mm, this could be somebody's wish fulfillment and that is to somebody's wish is to reconcile okay but five of swords is here you're dealing with a quite a tricky energy capricorn a very tricky individual okay they are not the simplest <laughs> they can be very complicated i have to say that all right okay um capricorn we are gonna get you some love advice okay spirits and angels please show me love advice Oh, Capricorn. Love advice. Five of Swords. Oh, you got Five of Swords twice. Capricorn, with the strength here, Spirit is trying to say to hold back, okay? Wait for a while when it comes to love. I feel like because Four of Wands is right here, wait a while before you reconcile. If you're thinking about reconciling with somebody, you have to deal with this person, this very complicated person, <laughs> very tactfully, okay? You gotta be very strategic with them if you really want to reconcile with them because the page of cups is in reverse um if you've been thinking that this person is not 100 percent genuine you are right okay they're not 100 percent genuine but i'm you know but there is a chance for reconciliation however spirits trying to advise you to kind of just hold on for a while okay don't let them come in so quickly if you are intending to reconcile with them i feel like it's saying to wait for a while okay wait and see and deal with it very uh, tactfully very strategically and we've got the page of swords here in reverse sorry it's five of swords in a different deck so i'm tr still trying to get used to it the five of swords in reverse and you got the five of swords here okay I feel like Capricorn, uh, Spirit's trying to tell you, wait for a while because you're going to see this person's uh, true colors again. It looks like they still are trying to hide it, right? They're still trying to hide some things, whether it's their character or still trying to uh, stick to their gun as in, you know, not trying to budge about something that they know that they could have been deceptive about okay spirit saying just to wait and you will be able to see this person's true colors you'll be revealed and they might lose in their own little <laughs> crazy complicated mind games all right so let's get you some money uh advice if you're interested some advice money advice for capricorn spirit please show me money advice for capricorn 
Huh, you got page of cups twice in reverse. Interesting. Or it could also mean immaturity. Some of you, your person could be very immature, and this is why <laughs> the way they think, the way they behave is like that. All right. But what I'm sensing here is with the page of wands, ace of wands in reverse, queen of swords in reverse. Capricorn spirit saying when it comes to your career or you know your money situation, it looks like. There is more to explore, okay? This could indicate travel, adventure. If it's not that, it could also mean um, growth. I'm sensing creativity, passion, and drive. Mm. Because the Ace of Wands is in reverse and the Queen of Swords is in reverse. This could either mean like maybe you are not that passionate about your past or your current whether it's your past or your current um, career, your job or business, okay? You could have been dealing with somebody, a boss or people who work around you who may not be very nice to you. I feel like Capricorn, but always use your best judgment, okay? This is a general reading. Um, and it's your life, so you're responsible for it. Don't take my words and run with it. <laughs> so we've got the page of ones here. I just keep staring at the page of ones. Spirit is advising you to, you know, uh, look outside. Look outside. Um, it's like whatever, whatever you're looking for um, when it comes to success in your business or your money situation, it looks like you have to explore elsewhere, okay? You have to explore elsewhere. The opportunity is elsewhere. It's not where you're at. All right, Capricorn, this is your reading. Hope you liked it. I know this is different. Um, if you did like it, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Currently, I am accepting personal reading requests. My information is in the description box below if you'd like to book me. If nothing else, I hope to see you tomorrow as I've been posting your videos almost every single day lately. Take care, Capricorn. Bye.